Hey guys, uh, quick, quick video. I uh, just had some requests about offset profiles, um, a couple of different solutions. If you've ever had to, maybe you want to show water in your profiles or your profile view, or for whatever reason you want to offset existing or proposed profile, uh, there's two different ways. One's going to be static, one is going to be a dynamic offset, and it's kind of a uh, just a quick, quick solution. The, the first one that is static, uh, if I wanted to offset existing grade, I can just select that existing grade profile, right click, and um, I will actually go to the uh, profile properties. Under profile data, you have to make it static in order to modify it in any way. So I'm going to make it static. Next, I'm going to go to my geometry editor. You see there's the option here to copy the profile. So I'm going to copy that profile uh, and create a new profile. And notice the PVI range is going to be for the entire thing. So I'll say OK. Uh, now that that's done, now I can go in and notice it created an entirely new profile. OK, so if I go to my geometry editor, for that new profile, I can raise or lower the PVI. So let's say that this is negative five feet. Okay, for water, you'll notice that it it moved that entire thing down. So it's a couple of different things that we need to do. We want to make this existing grade back to dynamic. So if the alignment moves, uh, that will also update. So we're going to pick our profile view uh, and and take a look at the profile view properties okay uh, actually the profile properties so uh, we take a look there we're gonna make our existing grade dynamic now that is updated we might as well also make that water a uh, you know a style that shows uh, water instead instead of existing I have a style for for water so it turns that into a blue line. So that is way number one. So you basically all you need to do is make the existing grade a, sta a static profile in your geometry, uh, your profile properties. Then you go to geometry editor, copy it. Then you can make existing back to a dynamic profile and you drop the copy profile down to whatever elevation you're looking for. However, this is still an issue that uh, if I were to change this alignment in any way, maybe add uh, some changes there, right? You notice how my profile doesn't update dynamically. It doesn't keep that. Uh, whoops, just deleted both the alignment <laughs> and the profile. That's OK. Um, the new profile doesn't stay dy dynamic. Okay, so this is the other way that I, I typically do this. If I always want to maintain five feet below existing grade or five feet below a, a designed surface, I copy that surface into a brand new surface. You'll notice over here, if I create a brand new surface, I'm going to call this water just for the, the, the sake of it. And we're going to... Um, make this a no display surface because I don't actually want to see it in plan. I do want to see it in profile. Okay, so my water surface, if I were to paste existing, okay, so I paste in existing grade, okay, existing grade is part of that that new surface. Okay, so if I were to, you know, take this alignment and I create a source profile, uh, I'm going to read water. And maybe I change the style to show my uh, water style. You'll notice that that shows up in profile. Well, if I were to add an edit to that water surface, okay, raise or lower the surface, and amount to add to elevations, let's say negative 5 and enter. You'll notice that now it lowered that entire surface five feet. Now that is going to be dynamic. So if I move this in any way, it's going to update always. 
I can't see it in plan, but I can see it in profile. So obviously if we were to add in any of these curves, I, I add in curves to make this look a little bit better. Uh, you know, add a curve in there, add a curve in here. Uh, you're going to end up with a much better looking alignment, but it takes care of our uh, our offset profile issue. Now, one last piece. If you're ever curious about how, if I don't want to show that profile, you know, maybe from this station to this station, if I were to make a quick little boundary, right, and I go in here, boundaries. This is on my water surface, and I create a hide boundary right there. It doesn't show, and that's dynamic. So if this moves, this boundary moves down here, uh, and we make our surface rebuild automatic, it's going to update. And uh, that's just kind of a, a quick random solution to maintaining a uh, an offset profile that stays dynamic. Uh, just a side note: if you do move this off. You know that's going to show again, so you got to just push that new boundary to wherever you you decide that you want to you want to push it. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Maybe you should sus subscribe to my channel. Uh, you'll get updated videos. Uh, hopefully, you like this one. Hopefully, it helps some people out. Thanks a lot.